and the lockdown. The church remains to be a beacon of hope and can't just watch helplessly. This is a call to prayer, prayer to overcome. Apostle John Kemadi William welcomes you to live online lunch hour services as we stand in the gap for the nation every day from 1 till 2 p.m. on MBCI TV and radio and social media platforms at Apostle John Kemani William, YouTube Apostle John Kemani William Official, Amos chapter 5, verse says 4. This is what the Lord says Seek me and leave. We shall overcome. Hallelujah. Shalom. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Uh, Nachukua nafasi hii kukusalimu msikizaji wangu, mtazamaji kwenye ABC Radio na ABC TV. Wale wabote ambao wako kwenye Facebook, uh, wale wabote ambao wako kwenye YouTube. Wale ambao mnatusikiza kutoka mahali popote mijini kule mashambani wengine wanatutazama kutoka nchi za mbali bwana wabariki sana uh, na shukuru bwana kwa siku hii ambayo bwana ametukirimia na kwa juma hili ambalo bwana ametukirimia ametulinda mwezi huo wote na hata haswa kwa msimu huu ambao tumekuwa na janga hili la covid 19 mambo na jua haja kuwa rahisi lakini kuna mungu mbinguni atedaye mambo mapeku ya pitayo fahamu zetu na siku ya leo ama dhuhuri ya leo nitachukua nafasi hii uh, jina langu ni pasta Isaac Mwonjoria wa Idhaka uh, mimi ni pasta na hudumu kule mlimani wa Maombi Heaven's Gate Prayer Mountain as resident pastor na naamini wengi tumekutana nao mahali pale na nashukuru bwana ya kwamba ametupatia nafasi hii hata wakati kama huu ambapo uh, wengi we are grounded at home to tuna nafasi ya kwenda mengi wengine hata kazi zetu zimesimamishwa uh, wengine watoto wetu wako manyumbani colleges universities uh, roa primary upper primary wote wako manyumbani and i thank god ya kwamba kuna kitu Mungu anafanya hata wakati kama huu ambacho tunaweza kosa kuelewa kwa sasa lakini ukweli ni kwamba Mungu kuna kazi anafanya bibi nasema kwenye kitabu cha Isaiah kwamba he is doing his work, his alien work, his work, his strange work. God works in very strange ways. Wakati mingine siyo razima tuelewe kwa wakati huu kili anachofanya. Na wakati mingine siyo razima atueleze kili anachofanya. Siku moja haba kukalikuwa amkali sana kwa mungu. Haka mambia mungu nataka uniambie kili unafanya. What is it you are doing in our generation? Na haka mkali sana. Lakini mungu haka mambia, I would tell you, because even if I told you, you could not believe. Na namini hivyo nivyo mungu anavyo sema hata wakati kama huu. Ya kwamba kuna kazi jinafanya. Maybe waku wanauliza mungu unafanya nini. What are you doing, oh God? I have been faithful. And now my business is going down. I can see myself sinking. I can see uh, like everything is going way higher. Let me tell you, God may not tell you what he is doing. But one thing I'm sure is that he is doing some work that even if you are told, you would not believe. Hallelujah. Ni gioba kwamba ukio kwa Facebook, uneza tag ile page kwa, kwa, kwa rafiki yako, uneza share ile video. As I share this word today, I believe that it will be a blessing to you. Nigataka tuwape pamoja, tunapuanza kwa jina la Yesu Christo. Baba mungu wa mirele kwa jina Yesu Christo na kushukuru adhuhuri ya leo. Tunapuenda kushiriki pamoja na mtazamaji na pia wasikizaji walio kwenye mitandao mna kwenye redio. Ni naomba mungu wepo wako, naomba neema yako. Naomba guvu za roho wako mtakatifu. Ewe roho mtakatifu mwenye kukonvict. Sin as kosani, sin, righteous and judgment of God. You Holy Spirit was able to speak to men, even to reach the, uh, the depths of their hearts. Mwana kwa neno lako siku ya The Bible says, where the word of the Lord is, there is power. I speak with the power and with authority with the word that you have given me through your son, Jesus Christ. And I pray that this word will be a blessing to each one, listening across and around the globe in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that this word is going to deliver, to save, and to heal in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you so much. Nikataka tuende moja kwa moja kwenye Biblia zetu. 
ni vizuri na Biblia yako mahali pale uh, ninaposhiriki kwenye kitabu cha Jeremiah 16 Jeremiah 16 uh, from verse 14 to verse 16 Jeremiah 14 16 verse 14 to verse 16 na ninapoenda kusoma ile scripture my title uh, 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 ya message yangu is riding on God's promises uh, and I will give it a subtitle when god wants a generation to identify with him wakati mungu hutafuta nafasi ya yake mwenyewe kuji identify ama kujitambulisha na kizazi uh, ukiangalia uh, wacha tusome ile scripture tunaweza kwa maybe in the NIV version uh, Jeremiah 16 verse 14 to verse 16 this is what the bible says however the days are coming declares the lord When men will no longer see as surely as the Lord lives who brought the Israelites up out of Egypt verse 15 but they will say as surely as the Lord lives who brought the Israelites out of the land of the north and out of the countries where he had banished them for I will restore them to the land I gave to their forefathers but now verse 16 I'll, I will send for many fishermen declares the Lord and they will catch them after that I will send for many hunters and they will hunt them down on the every mountain and hill and from the crevices of the rocks hallelujah nimesema subtitle ya the kwamba when god wants to identify himself in a generation wakati huu Jeremiah anapoandika uh, 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 this portion of scripture alikuwa anaongea na wana wa Israeli wakiwa nchi ya Babiloni wakiwa mateka mahali pale mm, e, kitabu cha Jeremiah kimeongea uh, kuhusu uh, 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 the, the Babylonian captivity na mnabii huyu Jeremiah alikuwa anatumika kuonenea na kuna kitu Mungu alikuwa anatumia mtumishi huyo wake Jeremiah kuambia wana wa Israeli Akawambia, I know for a long time you have identified yourself with the God of Moses the God who delivered your forefathers yule Mungu aliyekomboa wana wa wazazi wenu mababu wenu kutoka mikononi mwa farao maybe dating several thousands years back from then na Mungu akasema okay well and good i am the same god but in your generation katika kizazi hiki nataka muweze kujitambulisha na mimi moja kwa moja anawaambia wana wa Israeli mimi ninajua kwamba uh, 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 mnanijua na jia tofauti na mnanijua kutoka kwa vitabu vya historia mnanijua kutokana na, na, na kumbukumbu za Torati na, ma, na, na maandiko yaliyoandikwa na Musa lakini kwa wakati huu na uh, wakati ule it was a tradition even today in Israel when me people are making uh, 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 wanapofanya maybe ile kufanya nadhiri uh, arma wanapo hapa unapofanya kiapo chochote kile wana huwa wanahusisha jina la Mungu na nyakati zile walikwesema hivi kama mtu anafanya kiapo angesema kama vile Mungu aishivyo aliyeokoa wana wa Israeli kutoka Misri nitafanya one two three eh, hii huu sita nitatoa ni wa ukweli anasema kupitia kwa yule Mungu lakini akawaambia wait a minute I'm coming to you in a different version and I want you because what I'm coming to do in your days is something that will astound your mind alikatagulia kusema kuhusu vile Mungu alimwambia Habakuk alimwambia Habakuk I'm coming to do something in your day even if you are told you could not believe nikwambia kwamba yale mambo ambayo yametendeka wakati kama huu nani angefikiria kwamba wakati kama huu tugekuwa nyumbani biashara zimefungwa kila mmoja amevaa barakoa ugeambia mtu mwezi wa disemba especially to cross, to cross over that first tarehe moja tukiwishia na hape new year ugeambia mtu kwamba by mwezi wa tatu kutakuwa na shutdown angekwambia that is a bad dream you are a prophet of doom let me tell you there is something god is doing in our day even if you are told where we will be in the next six months you won't believe na Mungu alikuwa anawaambia sasa kuna vile mlinijua kupitia kwa kumbukumbu za Torati na kutoka kwa records za Biblia lakini kuna kitu nakuja kufanya sasa 
Na kutoka hapo hamtakuwa mkiongea kuhusu yule Mungu aliye wa Musa ambaye aliyewaokoa wana wa Israeli kutoka mikononi mwa Musa kwa kwa wa farao hapana mtakuwa mkiongea kuhusu yule Mungu aliyewakomboa kutoka mikononi ya udhalimu ya kibabiloni na mtakuwa mkisema huyu Mungu kama vile Mungu wa Isivyo aliyetutoa kule Babylon ukisoma kwa kitabu cha Zaburi ya Ezekiel 13 ongea kuhusu wa, 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 wa Israeli wakiwa kule uh, 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 the, at the, at the, at the, by the rivers of Babylon Ha? wakiwa kwenye fuo za, 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 za mito ya Babiloni bila sema wakiwa mahali pale mambo yalikuwa mazito sana na malikuwa mabaya na walikuwa wanasema hivi and the bible says by the rivers of Babylon there we sat down and we wept when we remembered Zion tulipokumbuka Zion tulipokumbuka Zion tulilia sana nao wenye kutushika mateka wakatudhi haki wakituambia tuibieni nyimbo za Zayuni nasi tukawajibu tunawezaje kuiba nyimbo za Zayuni katika nchi ya utubwa wakiwa mahali pale palikuwa ni mahali pa uchungu so they never enjoyed that stay it was a, such a painful experience lakini Mungu akawaambia kwamba siku moja ninakuja kuwakomboa ha? that's what the bible it says in the, in, in the verse 15 ya kwamba Uh, this is what I will do. I will restore them to the land I gave them to their uh, uh, to their forefathers. As sure as that who brought the Israelites out of the land of the north and out of the countries where he had banished them. For I will restore them to the land I gave to their forefathers. Alikuwa anawaambia mimi nikiwa Mungu nitawaokoa kutoka kwenye hichi maana uh, hii inaongea kuhusu the 70 years of captivity na nikwambia wakati Mungu anapoongea mambo haya si kwamba hiyo captivity ilisha the following morning no hapana haikuisha siku iliyofuata hapana ilikaa in fact in the book of Jeremiah hakuna mali kurecorded kuhusu the, the release wakati bibi inaongea kuhusu the release is in the book of Daniel chapter 9 When Daniel started interceding na Daniel alianza kuomba na kufanya maombezi akisimama na akishikilia ahadi za Mungu ndio nikaanza kusema kwamba my main topic is riding on God's promises kushikilia ahadi za Mungu kwa sababu kuna nikwambia kwamba hali zinaweza badilika watu wataweza kubadilika lakini kitu kimoja kitabaki kikiwa kimesimama it is the promises of god the promises of god they are yes and amen and they shall remain steadfast bibi nasema hivi ya kwamba neno la bwana limejaribiwa mara saba seven times has the, has the word of god been tested it has been found to be flawless therefore it is the only standard it is the only thing that shall remain constant all other factors They are, they, they, they are prone to change but one thing is, 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 is sure that the standard of god shall never go down nikwambia kwamba mambo yote yanaweza badilika lakini ahadi ya mungu na hiyo ndio ningetaka tushikilie wakati kama huu wakati kama huu kuna janga hili la coronavirus wakati huku na tishio la la la, la, la hata uchumi kusink nikwambie kwamba this is the time to hold on to that thing that faith that you profess and you confess it is time now you take a hold of it like more than ever before kumwambia mungu i want na hiyo ndio nataka kuongoza siku ya leo kukwambia kwamba mungu hata kama kama vile wana wa israeli wakati nyakati zile we are in the same status today wengi tunajua tu yule mungu ameandikwa kwenye biblia wengine tunajua mungu wa pasta wetu wengine tunajua mungu wa kanisa letu But I thank God for what God is doing in such a time. Maana this is the time when God wants you to know him at a personal level. Mungu anataka identify na wewe binafsi. Sio sisi, sio kanisa letu, sio dini yetu, anaongea kuhusu mimi kama Pastor Isaac. Ni mjue Mungu. Na ndio maana Biblia inasema kwenye kitabu cha Danieli, Yakoba wale watakao jua Mungu wao watakuwa na nguvu. They will be strong, they will do exploits. It is the God that you know at a personal level that will you 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 will leave a mark in your life and in other people's life. It is that te living testimony you will have in your life that will change someone and bring change in their, their lives. Tunmejua Mungu na jia tofauti. Bibi naongea kuhusu wana wa Israeli 
a, a, a comparison ya wana wa Israeli na Musa. Bila sema kwamba wana wa Israeli walijua njia za Mungu. Wana wa Israeli uh, uh, this was the Bible says that the, the uh, uh, Moses knew the ways of the Lord but the children of Israel knew the acts. Na niseme the condition of the church today is not different. Kwa nini watu wanahama kanisa moja wakipia kwenda kanisa lingine? Watu wanatafuta miujiza. Watu wanataka kushikamana, wanataka kuona matendo. Kwa nini watu wengi in the process wakashikwa na manabii wa uongo, wanaenda kutafuta mahali watatabiriwa, waambiwe ni nani alimshika ali, ali nani? Nani alilaani nani? Nani alifanya kitu fulani? Because we, we don't have that one on one personal connection and relationship with this God. We have only known God yule Mungu ambaye alitendea watu wengine. Maybe wakati napo utoa ushuhuda wangu kile Mungu amenitendea. Wa eh hey, unaona huyo pastor, huyo pastor ndiye atanisaidia. Hiyo testimony yake nilisikia. Eh hey, 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 hey. huyo ndiye kona suhisho langu. Unakimbia kwake. Lakini nikwambie it is a deception and that is not the will of God. Mungu anawaambia wana wa Israeli, waambie hivi. A time is coming when you no longer identify with yourself with the God of Moses, but you will be talking of the God who has done it. And I believe God is going to do something in our day. And it will be a living testimony for us. Hallelujah. How I pray that today, kama vile muandishi ya mesema kwenye kitabu cha Azaburi 48 mustari wa nane, Psalms 48 verse 8. Anasema hivi. Anasema 48 verse 8 of Psalms. Anasema, as we have heard, so have we seen. In the city of the Lord Almighty, in the city of our God, God makes her, uh, her secure forever. Anasema, kama vile nilivyo sikia, hivyo divyo nimeona. As, as, as I have heard, so have I seen. This is my prayer today. Yakomba, yale mambo mbo tumesikia. Na ito njicho kilikuwa kidio chabaku. Akasema mungu. I I I I am I'm sometimes very amazed by the book of uh, 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 by the book of Habakkuk. Habakkuk was one person who could not take no for an answer. Alikata u Kristo na kuito tu muhibirania na munabii wa kawaida. Alikata. Alikuwa anataka kuambia Mungu, what what are you doing? What is it you are doing in that generation? Mungu anambia, "Pana, I can't tell you. Because what I'm doing even if I told you, you wouldn't believe." I thank God for for the heart that Habakkuk had. Mada Habakkuk, alikuwa na wambia, God, I have heard. I have heard of your fame. I have heard of your wonderful deeds. But, oh God, renew them in our day. In our time, make them known. And in wrath, remember mercy. Na ni wambia, pendwa, this is the season. Wakati mungu ametusukuma kwa kona, ni wakati wakumambia mungu, tumesikia, ulitenda. Kuli kutokea majanga. Hili janga limetokea na korona muyaka yetu na kwenye kizazi chetu. This is not the first of, 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 the, of, 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 the, of the plagues that we have seen in the world. It is not the first. In the Bible, this is not the first one. There were our first one. Ime, ata maybe naona yetu kama ni mzuri kidogo. Miaka hile ilikuwa ni, the, they, were, they were very severe. Ingini unasikime uwa to 72,000. Ingini 24,000. Within hours, not within. Sayi tunesabu watu wachachi wamekufa kwenye taifa letu. We thank God for that. But mi nasema kwenye preg. Ugesikia in a certain preg, 72,000 died. In a preg, 24,000. And it is within hours. But let me tell you today. Wakati mungu wa metusukuma mahali kama pale. Anatupereka mahali pa kutuambia. I want now you in your generation. I want you to grow out, to grow up. Uwache kuwa mkristu wa kawaida. Wakusema kwa mba kukitokea ishu yote, ninakibia kwa pasta. Yakobo ukiona mtu wabaya akona shida, pasta ako wapi. Yakobo ukiona a, a, mtu ata, ata, if, ata watu wengine, ata mtu kuokoka. Kuwabia mtu obila toba. Ana unamabia ungoje, siku ya jumapiri, tuende kule kalisani kwa mbewe. Imagine that level, that is the level we have gone to. Nikuambia hivi, ya kwamba mungu si hivi wanavyo tamani. Hatamani maboka mayale kwenye maisha yetu. Anatamani tukomae kiroho. Anatamani tuinuke kiroho. Ya komba, kuna mambo mungu ata tutendea. Hivi komba utakua ukiaidentify. Unasema huyu mungu wangu alia nifanyia. One, two, three. Huyu mungu wabaya nilikuwa kwenye changamoto ya kifedha. Na akalitua kwenye hile changamoto. Akalilipia deni. Mini pastor wakule mulimani heaven's gate prayer mountain. And I welcome you. 
sahihi tu atbo parit lakini soon a uh, uh, baada maybe ya, ya hili jango kupita na serikali imeruhusu movement and all that utakuja kule mlimani and i have seen very strange happenings kwenye ule mlima nimeona supernatural visitations nimeona watu wakiponywa nakumbuka kuna dada mmoja alikuja siku moja kule mlimani anachechemea anatembea na mikogojo one night tukimaliza kesha and me, ni miongozi kumalizia nikasema the grace kusema the grace kitu saa sita na nusu hivi watu wakaenda kulala Aki, between atoke kwa kwa hall kwenda kwa room akasikia miguu imepata nguvu akakanyagisha miguu chini akaanza kutembea sami kuingia kwa ofisi di wide up nenda nikapumzike nasikia kwa mwisho ndio watu wamekimbia kule nje wakuja kuniambia pasta hey hii hatuwezi lala nayo nikauza what is the problem wakaniambia huyu this is my daughter alikuja hapa akiwa na shida amekuwa kiwete amekuwa amelema mungu mmoja na saa hii ametemwa walikuja wameshika zile mikogojo kwa, kwa ofisi and i thank god and i and i'm telling you that one like that one act it an ikanitia confidence kubwa yakoba so god is not a god far away he is also a god who is nearby and this is what god is speaking in our generation Tusione kama hili hili janga la coronavirus ni kama limekuja uh, ni kama Mungu hatupendi hapana kuna vile Mungu anasema anasema nataka munijue kwenye kizazi chenu nataka muone nikiponya kumesemekana kwamba hakuna tiba lakini mimi nataka kutangaza kama mtumishi wa Bwana kwenye madhabahu haya nataka wote wanaonisikiza hata kama uko quarantine hata kama uko kwa hospitali you have tested positive to the same nataka kukuambia kwamba that coronavirus will not kill you because that is not a will of god na kwamba ninataka kutangaza pia kwamba that virus will not spread anymore the lord will crush it in the heavenly realms it will be silenced in the name of jesus bana yesu asifiwe nisema kwamba wakati kama huu ni kama huu wakati mtumishi wa bwana alisema hivi alisema kwamba mungu nimesikia kuhusu matendo yako lakini sasa nataka nikuone Nikwambie kwamba kuna kitu Mungu atafanya There's something that God will do that you can identify with and it will be a living and a, a, a credible and an indelible testimony a living testimony ambayo hawezi ika, ikafutwa wakati Mungu amefanya kitu kwa maisha yako binafsi we have seen God kuna kati niko na, na deni miraculous Mungu akatuma I, I remember Uh, ni kwa nimekusukuma sana na ile deni na ile misubua siku nyingi sasa shida ilikuwa ni wale watu walikuwa wameni guarantee maana nilikuwa naona baada ya hapa mimi nikishindwa kulipa wao watafikiwa but i remember i cried to god in that situation na nikwambia vile mungu that was the first time kusikia mtu ananipigia simu ananiambia mungu alinenea usiku akaniambia kuna pesa uko nazo kuna akuruza ni pesa gapi nikamwambia ah kaniambia huo unalipa na njia gani kaambia kila wiki wao tunatoa pesa kiwango fulani This is what he would do. I remember they were they are those many years ago. Kida that's the big bana to get ile pesa nilikuwa nalipa kulipa every last. Wednesday night I get my pesa. Wednesday night anatupa pesa. Then we went on for a while. Baadaye siku moja na account haiko na kitu niko na ka ATM lakini hakana kitu ndani. Nikasikia nilikuwa kwa street Nairobi nikitembea enda kwa ATM, enda kwa ATM, enda kwa ATM. Kwa my, my mind najiuliza kwa ATM naenda kufanya nini and i know my account is not even zero ninahesabiwa niko na negative kule chini but let me tell you what happened wakati niko na 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 na, na bagay hivyo mtu mmoja akanipiga simu akaniambia pastor mungu amenenea na akaniambia kwamba kuna daddy uko nayo ende uangalie kwa account yako sure enough nikapata pesa Let me tell you with such a testimony I can be able to encourage you today that there is a God who is able to pay debts for people Nime nikwambia mimi ni pastor kule Mlimani nimeona imeba one day uh, uh, dada moja amekuja kata ushuda mahali pale amekuja kuomba amefunga ako na deni ya mamilioni ya pesa na akiwa kule Mlimani akasikia sauti ya Mungu very clearly akaambiwa na Mungu I'll pay that debt na kasikia amepata unajua wakati Mungu amekunenea there is a peace that you get within you unasikia that is not an ordinary voice na kutoka hapo wakati unasikia man effect jia moja kujua sauti ya Mungu na, na, na direction ya Mungu kwenye maisha yako it's when you have the peace 
Ukienda kufanya jambo lolote usikie ndani yako una amani. No matter how sweet it looks, wacha na hilo jambo. Until you have the peace of God, don't take any step. So akasikia kuna amani, akashukuru Mungu akatoka mlimani na akaenda nyumbani. Kufika nyumbani, this was our testimony. Akaniambia kwamba alipofika nyumbani, alipata mtu pick simu by a strange number, mtu ajui. Akamuliza so and so, Mungu ameniambia kuna deni imekusumbua sana. Akamuliza anivyo, akamwambia ni kweli. Akamuliza ni deni gani? Nikia sego gani? Father enough it was not hundreds of thousands, it was over 2 million Kenya shillings. Sasa akastuka. Mwanajua kuna deni ukiwa nayo hata kama ni kulipiwa na unashidwa utamwambia mtu 2 million na mkukula na yeye. Akamwambia eh, ni ni eh, 2 million akigojea kusikia simu imekata upande mwingine akamwambia send me your bank details just like that the moment she came to the mountain she was overjoyed alikuwa na shukurani na nikitaka kuambia siku ya leo kwamba kuna Mungu ambaye hata nyakati kama hizi katika kizazi chetu tumesikia Mungu ametendea watu wengine tumesikia Mungu aliyeponya watu magonjwa I've given you this testimony because I kati me I used to be asthmatic. Kutoka niko mtoto mdogo I would I remember struggling so much. Na unajua nyakati zile sijia kukuwa na ile hali ya kukuwa na madawa, kukuwa na sina ujuzi or something. So una struggle na asthma na I don't remember hata nikitumia in in ni kwa mtoto mdogo. So I would struggle wakati mwingine unafika usiku umefungana you are gasping for breath or almost dying. My father used to have the same. Na unajua wa, 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 wa madaktari huwa anasema kwamba that is a hereditary disease. So hata wakati nilipo alienda kwa hospitali nikafanya nika uchunguzi kasemekana oh hata baba yake alikuwa nayo. Oh hii sasa it runs through the line. Now let me tell you. Siku moja niliamini Mungu. Nikamwambia Mungu. I have I need to cut it me kokadi me kama miaka kadhaa nikaanza kumwambia Mungu I'm trusting you O Lord. I'm trusting you Lord for healing. Let me tell you. Kuna vile nilichukua tu siku moja nikamwambia Mungu I'm trusting you for this healing. Na kutoka siku hiyo up to day I don't live in drugs neither do I use any hera. Na hiyo shida ikaisha milele. Nataka kuambia hivi. God wants to do something in your life. Hata ile condition wengine hata ni wagonjwa. Wengine mimi as I speak to you you have a condition kama hiyo nilikuwa nayo. Maybe wengine uko na shida hata ya, ya msukumo wa damu. Wengine uko na kansa. Of this it like two very interesting testimonies ifanyika kule mlimani mtu amekuja akiwa na kansa very severe ako na kansa ako na high blood pressure ha? na ako na, na, na shida nyingine iko na shida alikuja kwa ofisi akamwaga dawa zile amekuja nazo maana alipokuja kuingia kwa reception uh, kwa security akaletwa eh kasemeka ni mgonjwa and maybe one pastor tuende kama atakubali kuingia kwa ofisi so akaletwa kwa ofisi ni kuambia mpendo alimwaga dawa kwa hilo meza yangu ya ofisi paka nikazipiga picha nikabidi niombe ruhusa nipigie reverend beni mkubwa wangu habia reverend kuna picha nimekutumia hapo kwa whatsapp hebu iangalie uniambie kama huyo mtu tumwadmit <laughs> but this was free but can i surprise you and this is with a medical report akoko maana alikazi siku aliweza kukaa by the time alienda nyumbani alikuwa amepona posted cancer alikuwa amekutoka kule Nadi County amepona uh, high blood uh, 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 pressure na pia there was another condition the wife came and gave a testimony that my husband is totally healed wameenda kwa hospitali amepimwa kila test and it, they have all turned negative nikwambie unaweza kuwa mahali pale nataka kuambia kwamba ule ngoja utakumaliza that is a testimony in the making that's why you have to hold on to that promise. Ya kwamba Mungu alienena ni wa kweli na ni wa hakika. Kile amesema kuhusu maisha yako atakitimiza kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Kile ameahidi ni ya kwamba yeye ni mwaminifu ataweza kutenda hili jambo bila kuzuiliwa. Na nikwambia hivi. Hiyo sadi sehemu ya Mungu. Sasa sehemu yetu ni gani ili kwamba Mungu aweze kufanya kazi? Kwa sababu nimesema kwamba uh, that is chapter 16 of Jeremiah. Mungu si kwamba alikuja akaingilia kati the following morning. No. Because Mungu anafanya kazi na timing yake. Si kwamba Mungu alifanya the following morning apana the heart wait. That is why we have to hope against all hope. If there is something that helped our father Abraham, it is holding against all hope he hoped.
The Bible says, I think it should be in the book of Romans 4, 18, that against all hope, Abraham hoped that he might become the father. You must hope against hope. Look at the situation we are in as a nation today. The situation seems so hopeless. I remember Makahu, Apostle Kinena Neno, La Makahu. Yakoba, this is the year uh, 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 of breaking limits. Nasa Sabibu na Juriza Apostle Shiwari. Shiwari, what does that mean? This year is the year of breaking limits. I can see this scripture. Against all hope, Abraham in hope believed and so became the father of many nations. Just as it has been said to him, so shall your offspring be. The next verse, verse 19. The same NIV version, verse 19. Uh, in Asema, without weakening in faith, brethren, this is not the time to weaken in faith. He faced the fact that his body was as good as dead since he was about a hundred years old and that Salah's womb was also dead. Ah, the next verse. Yet he did not waver through unbelief regarding the promise of God, but was strengthened in his faith and gave glory to God. Hallelujah. You must hope against all hope. Even when the, 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 the situation seems so dead. Abraham faced the fact that his was, body was as good as dead. Let me tell you, things that are happening around are just facts. There's a great difference between facts and truth. Facts are things that you can see, they are tangible, they are so real. But the truth may not be visible, may not be tangible. But let me, if you hold on to the truth, it will bring tangible results. If you hold on to the truth, though it is not a visible, it is not something you can be able to touch. But the truth is that truth brings tangible results. Facts can come and go. It was a biological fact that the, the, the ears of Abraham and the ears of, uh, of the wife they had, they had already taken them off. They could not receive children. Biologically speaking, those are just facts, but facts. Hallelujah. The fact that we have COVID-19 does not mean that the word of God that speaks of divine healing is void. No, the word of God still remains. There is divine healing even in the face of COVID-19. There is divine establishment even though the economy is slowing down. In fact, some economists are predicting that uh, the economy is going to collapse. But let me tell you, those are facts. The Bible talks of Isaac because Isaac was a child of the covenant. The Bible says that Isaac planted and the same year he lived a hundredfold. We are of the children of the covenant. The Bible says in the book of Galatians 4 that we, like Isaac, are the children of the covenant. We must hope against hope. COVID-19 is facing us. It is pushing us to the wall. But we must hope against that. We must have hope that God, you are doing it. This is a year of breaking limits. And I'm declaring to my life and to your life that this you are going to break limits. Whatever the word of God that gave to the servant that you are under, don't look at your situation and say, Ah, pana, hiyo neno, pana siyo la kweri. Nikama pastor alisika maneno yake, apana. The word of God is not changed by facts. It is, the, it is the truth that changes facts and aligns them in Jesus' name. Nataka kutagaza mwaka huu. Atakama tumeanza with the wrong footing. Nuna kuna tulasema kati tia ya muka na mugumbaya. Hatu kuwaza mwaka na mugumbaya. Tulianza na mungu. Na nikuambia mwaka huu. Kire mungu amekusudia kufanya. Ah, it will come to pass in Jesus' name. You will not be a victim in the name of Jesus Christ, son of the living God. Hallelujah. So one, you must hope against hope. Two, you must trust the process of God. Because God works, it is a process. That was chapter 16 of Jeremiah. And it did not happen the following morning, neither the following month, neither the following year. But as sure as the Lord lives, it came to pass. Hallelujah. And it came to pass because there was the time frame and there was a process. Kuna njia hile nilazima upitie. Nilazima uamini mungu ya kwamba. Ya kwamba no mata kile ninacho pitia. Mungu wakona uwezo kunipereka upande ule mwingine. You must trust God's process. In the book of, uh, 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 let me check, the book of uh, Psalms chapter 70. 
1, yes. Psalms 71 from uh, 19 to verse 21. Psalms 71, 19, 20 and 21. It's a psalm of Mahari Pari. The Bible says, Your righteousness reaches to the skies, O God. You have done great things. Who, O God, is like you? Next verse, verse 20. Though you have made me see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore my life again. From the depths of the earth, you again bring me up. Verse 21. You will increase my honor and comfort me once again. What a powerful promise. That though God has allowed us to see troubles, many and bitter, Though we have undergone such hard time, let me tell you, God is steady. He is the same God after going through troubles, many and bitter. It is he who shall restore us. The Bible says he will restore you again. He will restore us again and increase our honor. This is an year when God is going to increase your honor. God is going to restore. Maybe we can went to Biashara Zetu in the last one month, the last few weeks. You have seen a nose dive in the profits. We gina takuna branches of Zabiashara Komefunga. We gina tauna manage kazi yako ida tu ya kutafuta chakula tu. But let me tell you, you must trust God's process. Bina sema kwamba, though you have made us to see troubles, many and bitter, you will restore us once again. You will restore us from the depths of the earth. You will bring us up again. In fact, bina sema ni kwamba kwamba, their hope had been buried. You will bring us up again from the depths of the earth. You must trust the process. Trust God even at such a time as this. That he is a God who is able to deliver us even at such a time as this. Number three. You must align yourself with God. You must align yourself with God. Ninamazima ujiweke sababa na mungu. Align yourself with God. Align your faith with God. Align yourself with God. This is what the Bible says. Okay, you take this uh, in the book of Zechariah, chapter 8. I read several verses there. Uh, Zechariah 8 from verse 6. Zechariah 8 from verse 6. Uh, and, and verse 7. This is what the Bible says. This is what the Lord says, verse 6. This is what the Lord Almighty says. It, uh, okay, watch and answer, uh, verse 4. Let me start verse 4. It, 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 in a bigger scope. In a sema, this is what the sovereign Lord, uh, the Lord Almighty says, verse 4. Once again, men and women of ripe old age will sit in the streets of Jerusalem, each with the cane in hand, because of his age. Verse 5, the city streets will be filled with boys and girls praying there. Verse 6, this is what the Lord Almighty says. It may seem a marvelous, uh, uh, it may seem marvelous to the remnant of the people at that time. But will it seem marvelous to me, declares the Lord Almighty. Now Zechariah, Huyu Zekaraya, ni nabi moja baya litumika wakati wakule jesho, wana wa Israeli sasa kurudi, uh, uh, walikuwa na tabiria, wana wa Israeli walipokuwa wanarudi, kutoka Babylon, uh, uh, kiswa wa kitabu cha Ezra, ametajwa ame, ame mahali pale, inaugia kuhusu uh, 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 Zekaraya, son, uh, son, uh, son of Edo, uh, uh, na alitumika wakati ule. Sasa alikuwa na wambia watu hawa. Yakoba, mnoda hii, uh, hii hali Jerusalem ilioko, Wakati ule bibali alipelekwa Jerusalem, akaonyeshwa the devastation. Ile ule muji ulivu ya bombolewa na jeshi la, la kibabiloni. The temple ilikuwa imebombolewa kila kitu wakitafuta kule dhahabu ilikuwa imewekwa kwenye pillars. Walikuwa imebombua kila kitu na wakaichoma na kwa moto. Mungu na amaambia Zekaraya. Anambia Zekaraya, do you see this desolate city? One day, one of these fine days, there will be boys and girls, wasichana na vijana, watakuwa kicheza kwenye muji huu. Waze, wakongwe, watakuwa wakikutana kwenye vikao vyao, kwenye malango ya muji. Na vina sema, hili nezaonekana ni jambo na kutisha sana kwenye mabaki wa isiraeli. 
lakini kwangu je hili jambo ni zito kwangu let me tell you the truth is we may be in a very bad situation even economically today na wakati mwingine unapoangalia neno la Mungu na vile Mungu anakuahidi unaweza ni kama uko mbali sana but let me tell you it is not a hard thing for god to restore it is not a hard thing for god to establish his purpose even for this nation all we need to do is to align ourselves na hapo ndio ningetaka kunenia mbibiwe about how you okoka na we about umeokoka lakini kuna hii sauti umekuwa ukisikia all along in your life siku moja nilikuwa nafanya biashara somewhere kule Nairobi uh, I saw kule soko ya Gikomba I was a businessman there and at one point Mungu akaniambia nataka uache biashara kabisa uige into full time ministry na sasa mimi kwa mawazo yangu nilikuwa na mawazo mengi maana wakati mwingine nimeona vile pastors wanateseka uh, wakati mwingine hawana mahitaji yao hawezi commit mahitaji yao na nikaanza kustruggle na Mungu nikamwambia Mungu mimi nataka kuwa a business man na mimi nitakuwa business financial we struggled with god mani kwa mwambia Mungu mimi I'm ready mimi nitasupport hata kama ni, ni si tithe itakuwa nikitoa nitakuwa nikitoa 50% uh, 30% 40% ama zote natoa lakini Mungu akaisita kaniambia pana mimi sina haja na pesa yako nataka uige kwa full time ministry wa Though I took some time but finally I made up my that, that, that uh, uh, decision and I moved. Now Jabra P Mungu akaniambia kwamba I ni kona church kule Nairobi King of Seekers Fellowship kule Dandora. Now siku moja Mungu nikiomba tu kanisani sasa ni mwacha kila siku na mkia kanisani kama kazi. Ninaenda before 5 nafanya body devotion uh, naomba paka sabiri na enda kwa my, my study room na shida kule nikisoma nikiomba saa saba ninaongoza worship ninaongoza lachawa jioni hivi and I, I learn like that siku moja Mungu akaniambia Isaac sitaki ulilae na the offering basket ya kanisa hili wa that was another one but let me tell you vile Mungu alifanya na vile ni mechi mpaka siku ya leo it is just a miracle. Kutoka wakati nilipochukua ile hatua na nikatoka na nikaamini Mungu, nikajialai na, na ile sauti ameniambia toka. Akaniambia pastor toka na nikakubali. From that time many time I've been surprised na watu hata sio washirika. Mtu mmoja alipiga siku simu siku moja akaniambia pastor nime nipatiwa contract fulani, uh, order fulani na serikali we need a tender nikafanya kazi na wakati huo nilikuwa tumeenda kumbuka nilikuwa uh, uh, tumeenda MBCI ya dhiki ya Kericho. Yule mtu akanipigia simu akaniambia pasta, mimi niambiwa ile profit nimemake kwa hii biashara ni kutumie. I have never met that person. Atuko tumekutana tulikutana naye mara ya kwanza baada ya kutuma ile pesa kwa Mpesa akanikuta baada ya kukutakutana Nairobi. Akaniambia unakumbuka zile pesa nituma mimi die huyo. Wa I was shocked. She is not a member of our church. Hata mimi simjui. But when I aligned myself God and that's how God has done every other day na siku moja nikakuwa nikiombea tumejua kwa vile kumekuwa na kisi za moto kule Kikomba na siku moja maana tuko na washirika wangu wako kule marafiki wangu wanafanya biashara kule ya Tarera tena siku moja nikiomba ni Mungu, Mungu why is this happening one of the things God told me so clearly na every time ninapokutana na watu wanafanya kazi mahali pale huwa nawaambia one of the things kati ya mambo mengi ni kwamba wengi Mungu aliwanenea waondoke mahali pale wako na mwito kama vile ulikuwa na vile ulikuwa unaona ukikatalia hapo kuna wengine wengi wako kule na sasa mimi kama Mungu nikikuja kule nikitafuta watu ambao ni malibels na wapata kule na unajua ukisoma kitabu cha Jonah utaelewa hivi ya kwamba kuna watu mtu very mtu righteous mtu ambaye akona makusudi ya Mungu akikaa katikati ya watu ambao Uh, uh, abao wa mjui Mungu akae katikati yao atawaletea shida watapigwa yeye pamoja nao watapigwa kwa hivyo nakuombea Mungu akusaidie even in this season maybe God is speaking to you come out of this place stop this leave this friend wacha na na, na vikundi unadanga nataka unishikanishe na mimi maybe God is speaking na sasa ikabidi sasa aweke shut down afunge kabisa ndio usikie sauti yako Ndiyo usikie sauti ya Mungu. May God help you to align with his will. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Yakomba katika kizazi chetu. 
tukijalaida mapenzi ya Mungu na kuambia ishara zitatendeka unajua tumesikia sauti Tuli, tumeona wakati kama siku moja wakati wa, a, a, wa the acts of the apostles unaona kesi kama siku moja a, a, kina a, a, kina Ana, Ananias and Safira the wife walivyoenda wakauza shamba alafu wakaficha pesa zingine alafu wakakuja kijabaguza mdomo ni kama kuna kitu wamefanya I, with such is word of word of knowledge word of wisdom inakuja so automatically anamuliza wewe hiyo shamba kabla uja uuza si ilikuwa ni yako with such is bona mlitudanganya bona mnadanganya roho mtakatifu now here we are today the word nakumbuka siku moja ni kwa bible college uh, uh, i think that was the year 2002 Ah uh, hiyo college ya Bible itataja tulikuwa tukasoma tulikuwa tunasoma topics na uh, mambo ya Old Testament New Testament pneumatology na nini then came this topic about the Holy Spirit Now kwa hiyo <laughs> topic ya Holy Spirit ah uh, wao kulingana msimamo wao walikuwa wanasema kwamba mambo vipao vya Roho Mtakatifu eh, hizo zilikuwa za wakati wa manabi zilikuwa za wakati wa uh, 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 New Testament church uh, kule mwanzo mwanzo the early church saizi azifaji kazi nikao be excuse me i thank god we were, i was not the only one tulio tulibishan na hiyo lecture tukamwambia please let us not argue about this in fact kwa hiyo textbook tuli cancel out that topic tunasema kama huo hiyo ndio msimamo wenu sisi tunajua mimi nimeona word of knowledge nimeona word of wisdom nimesikia tongues interpretation of tongues hizo uh, gift zote zimeziona lakini today kwa makanisa mengi hata siku ya leo unakuta mambo yanatendeka even in our own houses na hata haukusikia sauti haukusikia hata hata chembe chembe yoyote oh may god help us to grow that that is very normal ordinary a uh, 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 christianity ambayo haitaleta faida na hapa ndio Mungu alikuwa anawaambia hata wana wa Israeli. Alikuwa anawaambia nyinyi mnaogea kuhusu Mungu ambaye mlisikia. Lakini kuna kitu nataka kuwafanyia muweze kwa identify na mimi. Nikwambie mimi niko naomba moja ninaomba. Ha? Ya kwamba we are not going to the to normal. Ya kwamba turudi kwa mambo ya kawaida. No, we are not going to normal. We are not going to church the normal way. We are going back to to to, to birth revival. Makanisa ibada zetu zitakuwa ibada za kawaida. Yakobo mambo yanatendeka accident inatendeka hata na ni your neighbor your brother kitu kinatendeka kwa nyumbani na hata hukupata revelation hata kidogo si umwambie Mungu I'm tired of this level of Christianity I want you oh God to see you as I have read as I have heard from preachers from my pastor I want to see it happen in my life Nakumbuka siku moja nilikuwa nimekenda kazi ni kule nikiwa jiani somewhere along the way Nikaletewa picha mara moja pa nikaonyeshwa kitchen yetu nikaonyeshwa kumelipuka gas ya kule imelipuka lakini kwa ile picha nikaonyeshwa mahali kuna shida so mimi nikafika nilipofika hivi atasikoenda kwa ibada it was a morning service nikufika hivi nikaenda kwa kwa kitchen exactly mahali nilionyeshwa nikauza tu maji nikauza hivi nikaona bubbles zinatoka kwa pipe ambayo imetoka kwa kwa tank imeenda kwa uh, kwa the cook, the, the burner let me tell you what could have happened if i could not have had that voice kugelipuka moto mkubwa sana maybe hata ige cause fatalities watu wangekufa si mungu atusaidie ya kwamba we will not be talking of the god of the god we had of the god of moses of the god of of of, of elijah of the god of the apostles he is the same god yesterday he is the same today he is the same forever this is my encouragement for you today ni ya kwamba god is more than willing god is willing even to 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 show himself mighty in our generation ni sema point ya mwisho ni kwamba Mungu anatafuta yule mtu ambaye atakubali kuhusika yule mtu anasema i'm tired kama haba kuku Mungu anatafuta an available vessel do you know what wakati mingi huwa tunafikia kwamba Mungu hutumia wale watu talented let me tell you it's a lie god does not look for the talented he looks for the available vessels there are many talented people there are many men with the callings with the giftings but they are not available but god is looking for an available vessel why don't you see at such a time as this i want to be available for you 
Because God is mighty, he despises no man. He is mighty and he is very firm in his purpose. My listener, my viewer, Natakwe Nkaji Siku Yalea. Watch out, he didn't only koroge, the inner man within you. Yakombo Sebe Kwanzia Sasa, I'll not be an ordinary Christian. I'll be talking of a visible God. My God will be so visible. Hallelujah. My God, we got a testimony of Sniggy Abbas of Nimona Muga Kifanya. Mabo Muga Nifunu Katimine, a Kurakati Bekona Mkutano, at a Kurekwa Mulima. Nakutana Tunam to Kurekwa Mulima. Naskia Mwangu kuna kudoromta katifuna kwa disturb ni kusu. Maybe wakati mgini na kosa kumu kushugulikia na kumuita. Lakini guess what? After like two, three days, wakasu wana kuja. Wananaibia kuna huyo mutu. Ako rumu na bafurani. Ako na hii case. Kuja kuleta kwa ofisi. He's the same person. Niko ni mesikia. I need to talk to this woman. This woman. Hallelujah. Mungu wa tusaidie. Ya kwamba tuatuta isi maisha ukristu waka. After this. After this season, may God help us that we will not live a normal, ordinary uh, Christian life. Iyo Christo wa kawaida, mungu wa tusaidia toki ya mahali pali. Na mpweda kumalizia, maato kutana kesho, masaka mahaya haya, uh, pa kwenye idhahi ya MBCI, radio, TV, na kwenye platform zote za social media, Apostle John Kemani William, Heaven Skate Player Mountain, my page Isaac Waidaka, tutakutana hapa kesho. Uh, nigetaka tukubaliani ya kwamba kuna kitu mungu anafanya kwenye kizazi chetu. And he is not, he is not, he, God is up to something and he is up to something good. Believe and agree with me. Ya kwamba kuna kitu mungu anafanya kwenye kizazi chetu. Even in the face of this COVID-19 crisis, there is something God is doing. He is doing his work, his strange work. He is doing his work, his alien work in our generation. Nataka kama sija malizia kuomba na, na, uh, uh, na watu we know we, we have this uh, COVID-19 crisis. Nigiomba uh, tuletewe kwenye kitabu cha Psalm 79 verse 11. Uh, hii ni jabu wabao liko kwa social media, liko kwa every mainstream media, kwa gazeti zetu. Kwa hivyo si jabu wabalo ni propaganda. Uh, tumiona vile kumeletu hata body bags nyingi. Let me tell you, if we do not renounce, I want today to decree life. Unajua kuna watu ambao they may be they, they, they are destined wamepangiwa kuuawa wakati kama huu shetani amekusudia kwamba wale watu watakufa nataka to declare against the spirit of death in our nation uh, I want us to read verse uh, 9 uh, verse 10 uh, 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 and verse 11 verse 9 10 and, uh, uh, and 11 hivi help us O God our savior for the glory of your name Deliver us and forgive us our sins for your name's sake. Why should nations say, where is their God? Before our eyes, make known among the nations that you avenge the outward blood of your servants. Verse 11. May the groans of the prisoners come before you. By the strength of your arm, preserve those who are condemned to die. Verse 11, very key. May the groans of the prisoners come before you. By your strength of your arm, preserve those who are condemned to die. This is the word I felt when I was praying for the COVID-19 and the coronavirus pandemic, that God deliver those who are condemned to die. I wish you could, like, like, uh, maybe you can give us the same version, uh, uh, a message version, uh, the same verse 11. Uh, message version of uh, or 79, Psalm 79, verse 11. Uh, message version. Kuna vile inavyo sema. Ina, ina, more broader way. Message version. Uh, give groaning prisoners a hearing. Mm -hmm. Pardon those on the death row from their doom. You can do it. I love this version. That, oh God, give the groaning prisoners a hearing. Pardon those on the death row from the doom. You alone, oh God, can do it. Nataka tuweze kuomba. Nataka kumaliza adhuhuri ya leo. 
Nataka tuombe kwa sababu ya hilo neno. Na pia kuombe hata wale wote ambao wako infected na ule ugonjwa wengine wako uh, uh, zile locations ambazo wame, wameperekwa, uh, wako secluded, wako on quarantine tuombe, tuombe even against the spread of this pandemic. Maybe kwa maeneo maybe kwingine haijakuwa discovered. Let's declare that it is going to be curtailed. Na tutagaza there will be no more deaths. Those who the enemy has planned to kill, those who are condemned to die by this pandemic, God is going to hear their case in Jesus' name. Nataka tuweze kuomba kwa pamoja as we conclude in the name of Jesus. Baba wetu wa milele kwa jina Yesu Kristo na kushukuru kwa sababu ya wakati huu. Mungu na joo natazamia. Hata kwenye kizazi hiki ambacho kuna mambo yanatendeka ambao watu wetu tukaelewa. Hapa kuko alikuwa katika hali kama ile. Alikuwa anambuza Mungu, what is it you are doing? What is it you are doing in our generation? Naye Mungu kamwambia, even if I could tell you could not believe. Najua kuna kazi unatenda ya kiajabu. Na Mungu unataka mioyo yetu ikurejelee, tusaidie kila mmoja wetu ambaye maybe aligaili. Wengine ni backsliders, wengine hatujaokoka. Tumekuwa tukisikia sauti ya wokovu tunasema ni kesho, lakini hali inatuambia kwamba there is no more time. Help us to align ourselves with you in the name of Jesus. Naomba Bwana siku ya leo, nikiambia wata wale ambao ni wagonjwa wameshikwa na janga hili. I speak life oh God deliver those who are who the enemy has planned those on who are on this death row do not tangaza covid 19 will not take away destinies i decree that premature death will not be our portion in the name of jesus nakata nakupinga the spread of the covid 19 to any county to our villages to our estates oh god hata walio kwenye kwenye miji mikubwa na hata kwenye vitogoji vya taifa letu na nena uponyaji na na bwana ata recovery kwa wote ambao ni wagonjwa and also we curtail we put a hedge of fire around our families around our nation around our counties that the covid-19 virus shall not be able to cross the borders in the name of jesus christ how I pray over God. Kwa wale ni wagonjwa siku ya leo. Bwana nimeona ukiponya, nimeona mimi mwenyewe ukiniponya. Naombea wale ambao ni wagonjwa, wengine wako na cancers, wengine wako na HIV and, uh, and AIDS, wengine wako na shida ya mifupa, wengine wako na growth kwenye miili mi yao. How I speak the death and the disappearance of those uh, of, of those uh, of those growths of that uh, of those malignant cells. I command them to die in the name of Jesus Christ. Naombea wale ambao wako na madeni hawaji watafanya nini i pray Jehovah god for your divine intervention oh god i have seen you do it oh god you are the same god yesterday and today and forevermore my father i pray that you're going to deliver many. You're going to save many men in this situation, oh God. Wengi wakakujue mwana. Ukawa hifadhi na jia yako ya kiungu. Ukakutenda mahitaji ya wengi abo hawana jia. Hawana namna siku ya leo. You may you, oh God, surprise them divinely. Providing for them their everyday need in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless you, Lord, and I exhort you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Nigeta kubia yuri abaye mebi hauja wakoka siku ya leo. Nikitaka kufanya uamuzi wa kuokoka na kumfuata Kristo. Nikitaka kuombe hili obi e, nyuma yangu sema Bwana Yesu siku ya leo ninakukubali. Nisamehe dhambi zangu, uovu wangu na unajisi wangu. Uandike jina langu kwenye kitabu cha uzima cha mwana kondoo. Niondoe kila hukumu na kila mashtaka na kila vifungo na kila nira zilizonifunga zikaniwachilie. Nijaze na roho wako mtakatifu nipe ufunuo wa neno lako ninapolisoma nisaidie kutengana marafiki na kuacha jia zote za uovu nimeamua na kurudia bwana kwenye jia zako na kukufuata kwa jina la Yesu Kristo amen 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 god bless you so much tutakutana siku ya kesho tungeomba kwamba uh, tune in uh, to mbci television mbci radio uh, kwenye platform ya Apostle John Kimani William kwa Facebook kwa platform ya Heaven's Gate Prayer Mountain unaweza like my page ni uh, Isaac Waidaka on Facebook kuna wengi wamekuwa kini request ya profile imeja like my page Isaac Waidaka uh, for prayers for counseling utaweza kutuma mahitaji yako pale kwenye ile namba ambayo iko pale chini na bwana atakubariki you have any offering you can also send to the pay bill number 87101 ambayo ni ya uh, ni heaven's gate mountain na pia ya mbci 807 
0701 ama kuna hiyo namba 0706 26 26 you can send your prayer request there and also you can send off so uh, uh, your testimony na even your feedback kwa inbox ya pia facebook yetu it is active ya post iko active tutakujibu na tutaomba pamoja god bless you so much shalom i'm here to declare we shall overcome and we are making it even after this in jesus mighty name amen amen shalom God bless you so much. Amen. This is a call for prayer to the people of Kenya. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from the wicked way then will i hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land and if kenyans will respond to this call then our land will be healed we may not occupy top positions but we can rule kenya on our knees za Kenya kwa makoti tu kiomba iponye mshi ya Kenya ibariki mshi ya Kenya twaiongo za Kenya kwa makoti tu kiomba yetu ya Kenya Kenya tunakutegemea wewe kwa kuiponya na kuibariki nchi yetu Jo sasa tuko magotini mwetu bwana twalitia jina lako takatifu utusikie baba utusikie baba
एम बी सी आई टेलीविजन ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग लाइफ